guys. My dad was just in an accident outside of his neighborhood. So we went to see him. My husband's with him right now. Everything is fine. My dad's fine. Hello. My dad is doing fine. He's good. Did not end up having to go to the hospital or anything. But anyway, my husband is at a doctor's appointment. He wants, we want to try and find like a primary doctor because the one who we're with, we cannot stand. And they're just the type of people who they have to test your blood and they treat you like you're dying before having even met you. I don't like that. You guys know I don't like that. I don't want to be treated as if I'm dying before you even get to know me. They'll like see family history and immediately just be like, yeah, you're you're a goner. We're trying to find a new doctor and now that we're getting, you know, older, I'm also doing the bed and my dog threw up on the carpet earlier. My husband's like, honey, come here. And I guess the dog like threw up all over the rug. So I will have a link here for the spot cleaner that we use. Um, it's a spot cleaner, but we can use it. You can use it on your couch. We bought it for the couch. It worked beautifully on the couch and you will never even know that you had a spot there. It is that good. I'm gonna get some editing done because like I said, he's gone. She's napping. He's napping or my son's napping. So I'm gonna get as much editing done as I can. Good morning. We are headed to Duncan. I have a free drink. So that means we gotta go to Duncan's. I feel like I'm in such a healthier state of mind. I just feel so much better about myself. I feel so much better about the work that I do, the way that I view life, the way that I just view things in life. I just feel so much better about things. It's such a freeing feeling to feel like you can do this thing called life. I don't know. Like, it's not that I didn't feel that before. It was like, I just, I can't explain it. I was in a funk. I was in a fog for honestly, like, almost 10 years. I think it was mostly just like a transitioning point because you're learning how to be an adult. You're learning that you have all of these dreams when you're little and you can still make them happen, but you have to have another way of income in the meantime. I believe you need to follow your dreams and believe in every single one of them. I will never be the person or the mom who tells my children they can't do what they want in life or that they're not good enough or that their dreams are too big. I will never be that mom. And it's because I just think life is too short and I think it's silly to ever think that any one person can tell another person how far they can go in life and that their dreams are too big. I think that's absolutely absurd. So I will never be that mom that does that. I never want to do that. I never want to let go. Until I'm like 8,000 years old, I want to believe in my dreams and the power of them and that I can attain them. So it's not that I let my dreams go. It's that I'm just trying to make sure I can provide in the meantime as well and just try and see how I can intertwine the two. Acting was my career for a very long time and my passion and it's still, I mean, obviously if I had my way, I would still pursue that, but it doesn't pay the bills right now and I need to pay big people bills. So maybe later in life if it intertwines, but in the meantime, I'm loving life. I'm loving where I'm going. I love the life that we've built. I love my children. I love my husband. And so I'm just in a really good, happy place in life. I just felt like I was in a fog. I cared so much about what people thought about me or if they believed in me. I just let every human being get in my head. And then finally I got to this point, finally in my life where I'm like, why would I even care about what people think about me? Why would I ever give anybody else that power to tell me what I can and cannot do within life and how good I am? at doing things in life. That's just so silly. I am not going to sell myself short in life anymore. I just, I refuse to let anybody else in this entire world tell me what I can and cannot do with my own life. I know that sounds like just really heavy this morning, but it's true. Think about it. Like think of yourself for a second. You are just this person trailing through life. You are just navigating life. Every other person in this world is the same way. All doing the exact same things. We're all just navigating through life. We're all just tiny little figures in this entire world. Why should we ever feel as though we have the power to tell someone else how they can live 
And why should we ever feel like someone has that power to tell us how we should live? You know, like what we should believe in. Like if they want their dreams to be small or to be smaller than yours, that's fine. There's no problems with that. Like let them believe and do what they feel fit. And then you do what you believe and feel is fit. So that's my little flowing one for the day. That's my little... Are you telling them the same thing? Okay. I'm gonna go so she can keep singing her song. I'm gonna play some music and yeah, I just feel good. I got my coffee too. I'm so happy. Pumpkin, first one of the year. It's like I just wanna like cry. So annoyed with today. I'm so pissed off. This is gonna be super gross, but my dog threw up yesterday on the carpet. Got it out, no problem. Not an issue. Son stayed away from it. He went to go play on his mat today, his little play mat, and my dog had thrown up on it and I didn't notice it. And I don't know when she would have done it. She had to have done it when I was going to the bathroom. And my son touched it. I'm just like praying to God that he didn't eat it. Now I have to keep an eye on her. And she always goes for carpet or his play mat or somewhere like, why do you have to go there? Go somewhere else. I'm so mad that this even happened. I just hope my son's okay because I swear I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm feeling slightly better. My heart is like still in my butt. I'm so like, really, I think he's okay. I was kind of gonna wait and see after his nap, just kind of how the day would play out. So I think he's okay. I don't know, but I lost a nail and I went ahead and painted it, my middle one. And hopefully we have a good rest of the day. My mom is gonna come over tonight. We're gonna have dinner together. And then they're probably gonna come over again tomorrow. And we'll have dinner tomorrow and celebrate my husband. Tonight they just felt like hanging out. Um, and then tomorrow we'll celebrate my husband's birthday. Saturday we're celebrating like everyone's birthday and then Sunday is my husband's birthday, but unfortunately we won't be doing anything on Sunday. My husband ran out of the house. He's like, I gotta go. And I'm like, where is he going? I'm like, okay, bye. He like literally runs out of the house. So I just got an email for whatever reason. I don't know if they're having a sale or not, but for whatever reason he decided he needed to go to Victoria's Secret and get me some underwear. I keep saying like, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. And then every time he's like, all right, let's go. I'm like, yeah, no, don't feel like it. So for whatever reason, I guess he wanted to go for me and that's my favorite place to get it. <laughs> I guess he went there and got me some, which is so funny. He's so cute like that. Like that's, I think that's what made me fall for him is he's just so, like thoughtful and he just wants to do things for other people. Like if I say I want something, he's gonna do whatever he can to like make it happen. Like within reason, obviously. He's just cute like that. I only know because I got an email from them saying that, or I got an email receipt or whatever. So that's how I know, but look at all that laundry. I'm gonna give my little one some lunch. Baby girl was taking a nap. Used to be, she would wake up, she would nap for maybe an hour, get up again, play for like two, three hours, then nap for like two to three hours, and then wake for another two, and then would nap for like a 45 minute nap um, at nighttime, and then wake, play, and it was, she would kind of go off and on at napping, um, pretty much up until bed, and then bed she'd sleep all the way through. Now it kind of seems like she wakes up, she'll play for like two hours, and then she'll take her long nap like right then for some reason that's what it's been the past couple of times is just like a really really long nap it could just be like a spurt it's only been doing she's only been doing this for like a week now so it could just be like a gross spurt or whatever but she's been napping really well and i'm really thankful for that and because of him i've learned you know gas drops are fantastic not gripe water but gas drops are amazing because that's typically the problem that babies have for the most part most babies are pretty happy and the only time they're really too fussy is when it has anything to do with their belly so at least my kids i know there's other things that could be involved but with my kids it's always their belly so with my first i didn't really know that that was really the problem but with her i already know if she starts fussing and it's like a, a repetitive fuss and like when i kick her legs it just doesn't seem like enough and she still seems uncomfortable gas drop so um say hi oh you're so in a baby stack yeah yeah so yeah that's basically um what's been working for us by the way i know it always looks like he has his tablet he, he does get, I let him have screen time. It's not something that I find. Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something that I find is really a problem. Um, maybe later on I'll come back and revisit this, but I feel like that's pretty much parenthood and childhood. And if you start realizing that a certain thing, whatever that thing is becomes a problem, then you fix it. So um, it's never been something like, He'll throw, like as soon as we get somewhere, he'll just like throw his tablet, like and not even pick it up or think about it or look at it or anything. Like he just wants to do something else. And it's really been where 
I feel like when you keep things from them, and I've said it before, when you keep things from them, it makes them want it more. And I just know like if he were to go to like a party, like a birthday party, a sleepover, whatever, I know he would rather be doing fun stuff with the kids and playing with toys and stuff like that and playing with other kids rather than be on his iPad. Whereas I feel like a lot of kids now, they're gonna want the iPad because their parents don't let them have it. And that's just my personal thought on it. It's not the Yay. right one. So it is Sunday and we're just hanging out. I didn't vlog at all tonight or this whole day really. We've kind of just been having a good family day because today is my husband's birthday. So we've just been hanging out as a fam. We just got baby boy off to bed. So my husband's getting a couple things done and then we're gonna hang out and watch some TV. We had a good day just hanging out. There's really not a lot to do. Yesterday we went and saw family and it's the first time that we've seen them since the quarantine, since before the quarantine. We haven't seen them at all. So we did go celebrate with family and it was so nice yesterday. It was so needed. She got to hang out with her grandparents and her aunts and uncles and it was just so, so, so nice. <laughs> wow. She so wants to tell you guys too. Yeah? Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yay! Good girl! Good job, honey! Good girl! Good girl! Hey, guys. Today is... Monday and I'm gonna go play with my little one outside for a little bit. I got everything set up. We were gonna have him play on his little water table. Everything was good to go. It starts raining and he didn't really get to enjoy the pool because I had to bring his sister in and the dogs in. He didn't really get to enjoy any time. As soon as I got things set up and we have like our furniture covered with like a tarp or whatever you call it, furniture cover. And I had, I had taken it off, was so excited to be able to play outside and sit out there and let him play and let you know, my daughter gets some fresh air and then literally as soon as I sit down, it starts raining. My little one has been getting increasingly more difficult, but at the same time, he's still listening. So I'm trying to use that to my advantage to try and teach him as much as I can while he's still a good listener. I have been solo a lot lately. He, my husband got to take a lot of time off after my daughter was born. And so because of that, he had a really crunch in time now. It's kind of a good thing though. I'd rather him take out the time off. Like I like the way that we did it. It made it a lot easier for me to like heal and get adjusted and everything. It is an adjustment getting used to being home with two kids all day. I literally bounce from kid to kid. There's really no me time. And I'm noticing this week, the nausea is mainly coming in whenever I'm not eating. And to be honest, like I don't have time to eat. I go from one kid to the next, constant, bouncing back and forth. So I don't have time to literally put food in my mouth. I'm having to like just pop something in the microwave or toaster and just like nibble as I go. It's an adjustment, but I'm very proud of myself for the way that I'm adjusting this time because if this were the first time, I probably wouldn't do so well, but I am doing pretty well, I would say. That's just where we're at right now. He's been, like I said, he's been good. He's been very good, but he's also wanting to challenge me. He's wanting to ask questions. He's wanting to find out. He's he's not in the why stage, but he's more in like the mommy come here, um, doesn't understand why he can't have COOKIEs all day. Um, and it's just getting a little bit more challenging trying to explain to him, no, you can't do that. We have to have this. And um, it's just it's a new challenge that we're facing, but it's okay. We're, we're doing all right. 